Hi everyone, it's Misty from the Joy Fed Off. Welcome to part two of my baby shower series. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm calling it for today. So I have my Big Daddy scoreboard out. I tell you all the time that I have this and I never use it, but I'm using it today because I need to score the length of this piece of paper. So I have a piece of paper, pink pearl wet, cut at five and a half by 10. And what I'm gonna do, it's just about 10, I guess. I'm gonna score this at two and seven eighths on the long side, seven and one eighth, oops, on the long side. And then I'm gonna score it, this is at five and a half, I'm gonna score it at five. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut these two flaps off. So I'm gonna cut right here. I think you can see that. You can use your trimmer to do this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use my scissors. These are my 10 hope scissors because I don't know where my paper snips are. So I cut off that flap. And then again, this is just my sample. So when I do the do the real ones, I'll make sure I'm a little bit more careful. Okay. So now I'm gonna fold on the score lines. My bone folder. Okay, then I'm gonna bring in some tear and tape. So this is gonna fold up like this. So I'm just gonna put a piece of tear and tape on this side. This stuff is fantastic. I love it. It's in the annual hand, blah, blah, blah. annual catalog. Let me put a piece down here. You guys know that I do enjoy the um, fast fuse, but for right now, this is a little, actually a little bit faster. Okay, so I'm gonna do this side first and actually I'm gonna burnish it down. Yep, see, I'm gonna burnish it down. If you stuck it correctly, you shouldn't have to do that, but you guys know, I don't always do things according to plan. So essentially, we've made a pocket. And if my calculations are correct, <laughs> it should be four and a quarter by five, just about. Yay! So I'm gonna cut a piece of paper Whisper wipe at four by five and a quarter. So four, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut two, because you guys know me, I'm probably gonna screw up. Five and a quarter. Now this is going to be our inside panel. 
and it's just gonna slide in just like this. And so this is gonna be our baby shower invitation. Okay, so let's get stamping and decorating. I'm looking for a hole punch. I know that I own a hole punch. I don't see a hole punch. That's right, let me keep going for right now. There are my scissors. Jeez, so I'm gonna bring these. Like I said, I, I haven't designed any of this. I mean, I'm just kind of going by ear. So why don't we, I know one thing I wanna do. I saw this in, um, I think this is in the annual catalog on the invitation they made, where they took a star, and it may not be this star, I may have to use a fragment. And they like scored it in half. I'm like, oh, which way? Hello, Missy, it's symmetrical. <laughs> it's a symmetrical shape. Okay. And they folded it over. Oh, I didn't square that at all like I should have. Jeez, little piece of mistake. Anyway, they folded it in half like that. So it was like a star on each side or something like that. Now that I've done that, I don't care for it. I don't like that. <laughs> what about if we do a circle? Okay. So if you were doing this for you know, if you want to make something like this for a little boy, all you have to do is change up the colors. And you could do um, soft sky would be pretty, pool party would be pretty, uh, wisteria wonder would be pretty, you know, daffodil light. Any colors would be pretty for this. Okay, so I'll square that in half. And I want to attach this. right here. Let me go see if I can find my hole punch because I want to punch a hole and thread in some of this smoky slate baker's twine. So I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back with my hole punch, but let's do our stamping on the inside first. I'm gonna bring in I still have it mounted, I haven't changed it. And this is why when I do them all, I'm gonna be using the Misty. Because it just makes sense to do so. Welcome to the world. It says, welcome to the world, little one.
that. Okay. I feel like I want one of these little animals. What about if I stamped it's a girl? See if I have a my teeny tiny block somewhere. Do you? I think I'm gonna use pink pirouette for these stars. Whatever I did with the pink pirouette. Ish <laughs> mishy. What did I do with that, Misty? Found it. Here it is. To say my desk is getting messy is probably the understatement of the century. The great thing about this ink is it's so light that you can go ahead and write all over it. So now let me punch my hole. You know, let me leave that for right now. Let me leave that for right now. Okay, let's move on so we can decorate our pouch. And let's see. I really want to do this little deer. I mean, it's just so <laughs> He's just so cute. A 
still help it perfectly. So I want that one. I want a gray one. problem is I need a smaller hole punch. I have one on order, but I don't have it yet. Maybe just pink and gray. I want some texture on this. Now I'm wondering if I shouldn't have ran it through a texture filter before be upside down. And it'll be the whole thing. <laughs> and I don't know how easy this comes apart. Well, what about if I do smoky slate? <laughs> I am all over the place today guys I'm sorry but I did mention that you're getting you know from the get-go so <laughs> this is definitely from the get-go all right so I don't need the magnetic cutting plate I need my multi-purpose platform and I need it open to Tab. 
this, and then this, and then, uh, let's do three and three quarters, three and a half, let's do three and a half by three and a half. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's not very big at all. Three and a half by four. Did I do three and a half? Probably not. No, I did. Maybe it'll be wide enough. No idea where the stick mark is at. Let's see. Oh, four and a half. So three and a half by four and a half. And then I'm gonna put, I got my cutting plate down. I'm gonna put this in. And then another plate on top and run it through. This is so totally backwards to me. <laughs> That's not bad. Okay. Yes. Okay, so I want that like this. I'll probably use um, fast fuse if this is the design she picks. So I know for a fact it will stick <laughs> for a long period of time. Let's see how straight is that. It's pretty straight. It's completely uneven. That's better. Okay. So now what I want to happen is I want to tie a piece of ribbon around. Hey guys, the song stuck in my head today is Stay by Rihanna. I feel like I need the satin ribbon.
again, these won't take nearly as long as they're taking now because I will have had, I'll have all the measurements and I can do an assembly line. And once she chooses, um, I can show you guys that process, but that will be a sped up video, I promise, because <laughs> that's gonna take probably a day. Let me leave this right here for a second because I want to add this. Actually, a brad setting, I mean, not brad, yes, a brad setting tool. So, I'm actually gonna try poking a hole <laughs> and see if I can feed the twine through. But first, I want to color my little, my little fawn, so I'm gonna add some pink pirouettes. Yes, yes. To the bow. Into the inside of his ear. And then I'm gonna use a smoky slate. Let me zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see something. <laughs> Can use a smoky slate marker to color in the rest of him. I don't know that I've ever seen a gray deer, but whatever. <laughs> And if she goes with this one, I may actually use a gray spectrum noir to color so it's a little bit lighter. But this will dry back. It's just kind of dark right now. I'm gonna bring in my basic black <laughs> marker. And I'm gonna do and it's on the nose. And then I'm gonna bring in my white gel pen. here and he has yeah those little spots okay that's really cute 
and let that dry for just a second. I'm gonna bring this in, and then I want to do get this bow tied the way I want it to be. <laughs> that I did it upside down. Is that gonna stay? I don't know. <gasps> this is why I don't tie bows on camera. This is why you rarely see me do it. Because I suck. At the time, and you are probably bored by now, but that's okay because whatever. <laughs> I need a bow for my thing, it's in my head, and I need it to happen. So, yeah. At least this isn't a copyrighted song, I don't think. <laughs> Finally, Jeez Louise. So, no one will ever know that I tied it upside down. <laughs> Unless I can't get it on here, then they will know. Because then they will hear my screams all the way to China. To China? I'll be screaming all the way to China. There we go. There. We go. Okay. Look at that cute little bow. Okay. And this is probably dry. Let's see if I can make this hole just a little bit bigger. <laughs> I tried and then I uh, completely went through the paper. So that defeats that purpose. I have a Rear Memory Keepers Corner Chopper coming with a 3 16th inch hole and a eighth inch hole. And the reason why I got it is because I um, need to laminate my plum paper cover and punch it. But the, um, the one eighth inch side is just a little too small and it makes it really tight to turn the cover. So, and if you're not a planner, you're like, what the heck is she talking about? Just trust. Trust in me. Okay, now I'm just trying to get this threaded. Go. Go, shorty. Oh, that is copyrighted. Shut up, Misty. Oh, 
26 minutes. This one's going a little bit faster. Come on. Come on. Yay, I did it. <laughs> Okay, so I want these. Oh, pfft. well, that was a complete waste of time, wasn't it? There. I want these to kind of go like that, and I want them to stay that way, so I'm going to snail them down together. Too much gray. a glue dot or a dimensional and I don't know where are my glue dots maybe from them maybe maybe those are glue dots they are they are glue dots okay let's see where are we here's one Perfect. Oh gosh, super close up. <laughs> I forgot. Let me zoom back out a little bit. Oh, wrong way, this day. Okay. So let me cut my tails. Because I don't want this too, too long on the ends. Okay, so let's bring in our. And this is where we can put our... Okay, and this will just slide in here. So that's the second one, and here is the first one. And I'll be back soon for the third one. Thanks so much for watching, guys.